Good morning or afternoon East Coasters or around the world. It might be even evening. I am here coming to you live on my Facebook page talking sexy confidence and today I'm kind of letting you guys jump into well on the weekends I'm letting you jump into my Saturday mornings to what I do. What is my life like? So right now I'm getting started on some chores. I just watered all the plants that um, that line our back patio here in Temecula. It has been about a hundred degrees consistently every day for the last week and a half. So it's been super hot here. Is it super hot where you guys are? Because man, we're in the valley. It's like it's crazy hot. We've got a garden here in our backyard. And it legitimately is struggling right now because of the heat. Yesterday it was 114, and today I think it's going to be like 98, thank God. But So I'm watering some plants today, and I'm also going to take you guys down into my orchard. I thought it would be cool to show you guys where I pick my, uh, my lemons and my grapefruit. Let's start, uh, let's start, let's start down here, I guess. We'll do it. So what's up, everybody? Good morning. Hey, Carrie. What's up, Shelley? How's it going, guys? I'm taking you down into my orchard. I'm going to show you a little bit of where I go. Hey, Ala, how are you? Over here to this side, this is where the rooster lives. The rooster makes a lot of noise all day long. Even in the evening, we'll be eating dinner and, and the rooster is losing his mind over there. He's There's two of them. Hey, Shelley. Uh, so you guys it's cool because right down here as we walk this path I'm gonna take you through hey Nicole I'm gonna take you through my little our, our little orchard we've got a couple different fruit citrus trees we've got a avocado tree um, a grapefruit lemon orange I mean we're living in the freaking country guys I got my bucket in case I see some fruit that we can pick um, usually <laughs> so out here so we've got right here we've got a, a really nice grapefruit tree it's got some good it's got some good fruit on here I think I can pick a couple Vito Vito is asking on special request Anna can you get some grapefruits I might lose you guys a little bit we're in the country here um, but uh, yeah that's the way it goes right that's the way it goes I'm gonna pick uh, some grapefruits here find a couple good ones. I'm always nervous about bugs. Oh yeah. You gotta get them before, you really gotta get them before the bugs get them, you know. A couple nice ones. These aren't as big as the ones earlier. There's a lot of, um, a lot of ants getting after it over here but I am not afraid of you, ants. I need my fruit. It's gonna get heavy. Okay, that's enough. We don't wanna pick too many. There's nothing like having fresh fruit off of a tree. Who else has citrus trees? I wanna would love to share you know what I would love to have <laughs> I would love to have a little fruit stand one day kind of like down in Temecula where I get to sell my grapefruits and I get to sell my lemons but maybe one day maybe one day all right so let's keep going here I might lose you but we're gonna make our way over to the uh, lemon grove which unfortunately we're gonna be tearing out um, because the lemons uh, now our avocado tree looks like it's gonna die we got to give this baby extra water today avocado tree right there um, and the and the leaves are turning brown because man it's been over a hundred degrees consistently out here for the last week and a half so we're just cruising through I'm gonna show you guys some of the other uh, citrus trees so this right here this is our orange, but unfortunately, we didn't pick it in time. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Nicole. I know this shirt is so freaking badass. Um, 
good food, good mood. Oh man, the pomegranates are looking good. So I don't know, does anyone know when to pick pomegranates? I don't know when they're fully ripe. Look at that, look at those. Those guys are looking good. Along with this other grapefruit tree we got, we got over here. What's up, Jill? Jill, I'm giving a little tour of my little uh, vineyard here. Not vineyard, my, my orchard. This one looks good, but I'm not sure. Do you guys know when you're supposed to pick pomegranates? I thought they were supposed to look red, right? Are they supposed to look red? I feel like they are, but I'm not sure. I'll come back and get these, but look at how good. These are getting so ripe. I feel like they're almost ready. I don't know. I could pick one and cut it open and see, but it's a shame to pick too early, you know? You don't want to do that. That's kind of a bummer. I hate it when you pick fruit and it's not ready yet. So we've got this really humongous pomegranate and um, hey, Michaela from Italy. What's up, girl? I know. Well, Emily, I could um, potentially send you some citrus. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, we got a couple. We have another orange tree, a lemon tree, a couple of those, you know, and uh, of course, these guys are all struggling right now because of the heat. But that's, yeah, that's our little, kind of, I just walked you through our orchard. Now, over here, we've got a whole entire grove, right? Those are all our trees right now. The thing is, is though, here in Temecula, this, this orchard's been neglected for a long time. So a lot of the citrus trees are kind of dried out and they, uh, they're, they're looking pretty, pretty weak. So they're expensive to hydrate. They're expensive to water. But if you, you know, if you're going to you know, harvest them and sell them and stuff, it makes sense. Well, we're not, we want to plant grapes. We want to have a little vineyard on this property. So we are actually going to mulch all the trees and get the soil ready to plant a grove, um, a vineyard, sorry, a vineyard. So, but before then, I'm gonna make my best to, um, to get some lemons. Here we go. Let me set my basket down. So, this is the, this is the whole, this is the orchard. There's about 85. Yeah, seriously, Jill, I could set up a lemonade stand. Too bad your kids aren't here to do that. They would have so much fun. Yeah, this is like a, a kid's freaking heaven. But um, I've been picking off this tree a lot. This tree's got a lot of, a lot of um, lemons ready. The thing is, is that, you know, the trees are so dehydrated, you know? It's just like, it's kind of a bummer. But um, they just, they're coming off so easy. So I might have to let you guys go, actually, because I, I don't know if I can safely do this <laughs> while holding a camera. Hi from Hong Kong. Yes, we are in Temecula. We are, um, we are right off of De Portola Road. So it's a kind of a cool little area. And, and this is like one of, one of the lemon trees that we can harvest. And we've got 85, 85 of these bad boys. Um, and it's crazy because we wanna, if you live in Temecula, you are welcome to come over and pick lemons because soon this orchard will be gone. Um, I never lived in Northern California, Judy, but I lived in Southern California. I've lived in Venice Beach, Santa Monica, San Diego, and now we're in the country. Yeah, cool. Yeah, come and pick lemons. I do. You can have them too. I don't want them to go to waste. I'll feel bad. I'll feel bad if we don't harvest a lot of these before they go. Um, so if you guys want to come, yep, your dog can come. Absolutely. Have them come up. Just Facebook message me. You can uh, come and pick lemons. There's a whole freaking orchard here. And I need to look at that tree. Oh my God, that one's just so ready. I mean, I'll designate a tree for you, Judy. Yeah, your dog would go nuts. This is dog heaven. Of course, we have a lot of coyotes and um, we hear them every night celebrating some kind of uh, feast. I, I hear them all the time. But um, yeah, I'm just giving you guys a little insight into my Saturday morning, doing my chores, picking my fruit, watering my, um, watering my plants, and uh, you know, trying to keep this property under wraps. What's up from the Philippines? Hi, Nats. Uh, so yeah, this is it. This is a Saturday. What are you guys up to? 
<laughs> I don't know about you, but I watch tennis as well. Does anybody watch tennis? Because the US Open is right now, and it's pretty awesome. My husband's a huge Federer fan, so if you're uh, a tennis fan, I'm sure you either love Rafael Nadal or Federer. I also, I mean, I, I'm loving, I'm loving all of the women's tennis too. There's a couple Americans playing. I forget the one girl we were watching yesterday, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. Ah, sweet. Hey, Zoe. <laughs> the no crunch workout. I love it. Sweet. I was, uh, I was actually going to share with you guys also, uh, I don't know if you listen to my podcast. What's up from Philly, Naomi? Um, if you guys listen to podcasts, definitely subscribe to my Sexy Confident Life podcast. Yesterday, I put out a pretty cool podcast episode. I think you'll really like it. It's called Playing in the Shallow End of Life. And I know that for most of you guys, you're not, but I feel like there's a lot of people out there playing in the shallow end going for the easy solutions instead of doing the work. So I definitely encourage you guys to check it out. Oh my God, 112 degrees in Concord. Ah! It was 114 here yesterday. Um, oh my gosh, you're in Crete. It's early evening. Nice. What's the weather like in Crete? I wonder if it's, uh, I wonder if it's as hot as here. I don't know geography that well. But, um, yeah, it's been hot here. But, yeah, definitely check out my podcast from this week. I'm doing podcasts every other week. So, um, you know, it's cool to kind of get a few of my insights and a couple of my uh, high-performance coaching lessons in those podcasts. I'm, it's kind of a mixture of, like, uh, kind of a mixture of, you know, fitness, nutrition, um, you know, mindset, things like that. What's up? Thanks, Laura. Where in Europe are you from, Laura? What part? What country? Europe is so big. <laughs> uh, oh, 30 degrees? Oh, okay. End of summer. 30 degrees Celsius, right? Because there's no way it's end of summer and 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, yep, definitely. If you haven't heard of my podcast, you can get it on my blog too. AnnaRenderer.com is where I host my blog and my podcast. So if you don't have an iPhone or you don't have an app on your phone, you can always, um, oh, sweet. Thanks, Nicole. I think that, oh my God, Slovenia. I have friends in Slovenia. A lot of my team works in Slovenia. That's crazy. What's up, Tom? <laughs> Good to see you, bro. It is, um, oh, thanks, Beth. Appreciate that, Bethany. My podcast is um, one of my favorite things to do. I think I was born to have a radio show, and now it's available to us um, on the um, <laughs> on the everyday. So it's pretty cool to have the uh, opportunity to jump on and speak some of the ideas um, that are you know kind of in my head and things that I want to teach you guys. And um, and you know it's 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 cool to be able to connect with people from around the world. Because it's nice to hear a voice and an energy um, when it comes to, you know, a concept or a lesson. A lot of people read blogs. I, personally, I'd rather listen to podcasts than read blogs. I don't know about you guys. Um, I think it's kind of cool, you know. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Well, good to see you guys. Good to see everybody. It's lovely to have the energy of everyone. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to actually get to town on picking this uh, lemon tree because I legitimately, um, <laughs> oh, it, Lonnie, it's so funny that you said that. I'm nowhere exotic because I would never consider Temecula an exotic place, but I guess with all these citrus trees and all of this like countryside, it feels a little bit exotic, but Mississippi's cool, right? What's cool in Mississippi? Thank you, Anna. Yeah, this is a this is our this is our, our backyard. This is kind of where um, we can uh, come out and pick lemons, and it's kind of a trail where we're gonna put a pool because um, the pool is an, a must. I mean, it gets to be over a hundred degrees here, and if we ever want to enjoy the outdoors in the summer, we'll, we'll definitely have to have a pool. That'll be a kind of a big project, big investment. So who knows when that will come? First big project is to get this 
whole orchard cleared out. It's gonna be sad. I know people are like, why are you clearing the orchard? It's so expensive to feed this orchard. I tell you right now, it is not easy. Um, <laughs> clear mind for studying. Meditate, Tom, meditate. Take 10 minutes and let your mind settle. That's how I refocus throughout my day, a couple times a day. I don't know about all of you guys. Do you guys meditate? You should. I should do a podcast on meditation. Well, I think I actually have done something like that before. Um, the food in Mississippi, is it healthy? So is it like, is it, is it fish? Food, really good food, Lonnie. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Here in Temecula, I think the best food that I've had is the Italian. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's it's such good Italian food here. Um, I think also the Mexican food here is probably like the most amazing. Now, Laura, I have friends in Slovenia. They live in um, that little town of Ljubljana. I think it's Ljubljana. And they work in that little town. Or actually, did they move their office out? And they're just, they're just great people. They've helped me build my, my business, my brand. That's where, um, that's where they live. I love Slovenia. We visited last year for a couple days and we went to Lake Bled and um, we went to Ljubljana. We went to that big fair and had food and had wine. It was awesome. Oh, Lonnie, Gulf shrimp, seafood and pull boys. Oh. I had a po' boy when I was in New Orleans, and it was good, but it was so filling, I could hardly freaking finish it. That's cool. I like that. Not very healthy, <laughs> very, very Southern. How come everything has to be fried in the South? Come on, because it's like fish is good. All you need is, you know what I love about New Orleans, Lonnie, is that you have lots and lots of spices. So I go to New Orleans and I get all the spices and that's just so badass. Hello from Greece. Is it Ava? And Poland. Oh my God, I would love to visit Poland. I'm part Swedish and uh, Welsh, so I've always wanted to also go to that part of the world too, but haven't made it so far. Mmm, tacos, tamales, tostadas. You know, I love fish tacos. I think it's one of my favorite. But I, uh, you know, I honestly just, I, I can't eat the tamales. It's the corn thing. It's weirding me out. I don't know why. I'm originally from, well, I was born in Tacoma, Washington. My family lived there for a while when I was a kid. Then mostly I grew up in Massachusetts. So I'm an East Coast girl all the way. My roots come from the East, um, but I was born in the West and now I'm back in the West Coast and I've been here for almost 12 years. I will never leave California, hopefully. I mean, maybe I'll have a second kind of, uh, a second home maybe somewhere in the other parts of the world, but California, this home, this will be my home, I think, until I'm like 90. I wanna die on this property. <laughs> uh, Oh, it's pretty nice out there, huh? Cool. Butter. Oh, God. Yeah, the Cajun spices are awesome. If you guys get a chance, order New Orleans spices. Oh, it's Anna. Awesome. A fellow Anna from Greece. I love it. It's cool. Yeah, the Cajun spices. Get them from New Orleans because they're so good. Um, what a fun freaking group we've got on here live today. It's cool to connect with you guys. I, um... I, I wish that I could be, you know, picking lemons as I'm as I'm chatting with you, but there's absolutely no way I'm going to go down that terrain. <laughs> it's it's definitely it's scary. It's, it's <laughs> I will probably slip and uh, fall, so I hold on to the tree a little bit as I'm going down. But this is uh, I don't know if you guys know about the California peppercorn trees. Look at those bad boys. They're pretty big. So I'm drying them out right now. Does anybody? know how to dry out the peppercorns um, because it is it is they're all covered with a little shell so you can dry them out they're all behind me right here but you can dry them out and and then the, the peppercorn is in there and I want to dry them out so I can just have freshly ground pepper from our peppercorn trees but I don't know yeah I don't I don't know how I'm gonna have to google it unless you guys know 
I know, it, it is like we live in Tuscany. That's why we bought this house. My husband's from Sicily. He speaks Italian fluently. He also, um, you know, he also um, really loves Tuscany. He's been there. I have not been to Tuscany, but I've been to Italy. I've been to uh, Puglia, and I've been to um, Venice. I've been to, uh, where else have I been to? Verona and Rome and Florence, so. But I definitely have to go to Tuscany someday. Yeah, thank God for Google. Exactly. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll follow up with you guys later. Um, have an awesome Saturday. Kick some butt. I'm going to kind of take my way to the tree here. I don't know if you guys can check it out. A little viewage here. So, awesome chatting with you guys this morning. I'm going to get on my way with my chores. But it's been good hanging out. Make sure you check out the uh, the podcast from this week. It's been really fun recording those podcasts and inspiring some people. We're launching my next you know course in the fall in, in early October. So you hear me you'll hear me talking about it a lot this month. So if you've never taken my four week mentorship program, you're gonna want to check it out for sure. Uh, it's called the Sexy Confident Woman Formula and. Um, I've already got a couple people enrolled early, but we really officially, I launch it personally and I coach it personally uh, early October. But if you wanted to jump in early, like a couple people have, you always can. But in my podcast this month um, or this week, I talk a lot about, you know, why it's important to not p play in the shallow end anymore. And that's kind of what my course is doing. It's forcing you to, to learn how to swim and no longer look for floaties, no longer, uh, you know, remain afraid of touching the bottom, you know. I want you to spread your wings and fly, my friends. So definitely check it out. You'll, you'll know what I'm talking about, all these references, but I'll be sharing more live with you guys later on this month. All right, so enjoy your day. Love you guys.